So today hasn't really gone to plan. We had great intentions to start this video in our villa. We were like half an hour down the road and we realized that we left our passports, our money, and all our valuable stuff in the safe back at grandma's. But thankfully, they had everything there good to go and everything was safe. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We'll try this again. We finally got to our accommodation here in Abud. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> well, this is pretty nice. Looks pretty good, hey? I'm just getting the essentials ready, putting some fresh ice in the freezer. Yeah, this is a very nice villa. My bedroom over here, Chelsea's bedroom over here. <laughs> But yeah, how good is this? Beautiful pool, couple of little nice bedrooms, great villa. What more could you want? All right, I'll take you for a little tour. So this is the bedroom. Very nice little spot. And through here to the little outdoor shower, bathroom setup. Look at this. Sink, toilet, fancy shower. Looking really good. Got a lovely little dining area, dining area slash lounge room slash oh, kitchen. And dog at the door. Oh, and a puppy at the door. <laughs> we'll put all the details in the description below so that you can see where we're staying and what we're doing. And that way, if you want to come stay here too, you can. Alrighty, first night at the villa and we're all ready to go out and check this hottie over here. I literally just said to Bryce, you're not going to say something about me, are you? Uh, you I said, no, 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 I wasn't Thanks. going to. Yeah, look at you, all dressed up, ready to go. This is my new Bali outfit, cost me $10. Yep, bargain. Anyway, we're going to head to a couple of warungs around the corner, see what we can find. We really don't know what's in the area, so we're just going to wing it and see what we can find. It's a little bit dark. Yeah, this is actually really nice. It you is can, nice, but it's kind of creepy. You can see all the creepy. water flowing through. I don't know if that's turd water or it's just rice paddy water, so... Have a taste. No, oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Tastes like money. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you're a spud. Our villa is right out in the middle of some rice fields. There is some other villas around. It feels really safe and you can lock everything up. But getting out to dinner is a little bit dark and ominous. There doesn't seem to be pizza restaurants open around near where our villa is at the moment, probably due to COVID and just not that many people traveling. Um, but we have managed to find a pretty good little restaurant. Seems decent and really cheap nasi and mee goreng. So yeah, should be good. Yeah, and cold bintang. Cheers. Nice cold water for Chels because they, <laughs> they didn't do Radler or anything else, but that's all right. You can have a few vodkas when you get back. That's it. <laughs> Hang by the pool. But yeah, it's a beautiful, very tranquil area. Is yeah, it word? is. Yeah, it's very Balinese. It's very traditional up in a wood, which is kind of nice after being in, yeah, the busy hustle bustle. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, it's obscure. Yeah, it's pretty good. And just so you know, we actually haven't had one of our spring rolls. They don't just give you one spring roll. <laughs> Check this out. How good's the view right from the doorstep? So this is the little track that we were walking last night to dinner. I don't think you'd want to be walking along here if you'd had a few too many drinks. 
we're gonna find out anyway. <laughs> we're just on our way out for breakfast. This vlog is gonna be a lot of food, I think, because that's one reason why we love Bali is the food and drink. Cat just tried to give me a little nibble. Where is it? Is it gonna bite me? Ow! It scratched me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let the microphone. We are all loaded up this morning and we're going to go for a bit of a day tour. We've got a couple things planned. We're going to go to a coffee plantation, a waterfall, a holy spring water temple. Our driver's waiting for us out the front here. Alrighty, bit of a slow start this morning because the driver said he was here, but he's not here. So Chelsea's had to go duck down to get some internet so that she can find out where he is. And I'm just sitting on the side of the road waiting. So there was a little bit of confusion this morning. Uh, we were waiting for a little while and then Chelsea went back to get internet so that she could contact the guy. Turns out he went to a different hotel and picked up a English couple. And then the, pe the person that was meant to be picking up that English couple, he was actually waiting for them near us. So he picked us up and then we met and then swapped over and- So confusing. Uh, it was so confusing, <laughs> but I don't know how we jagged it. It still worked out to be good and yeah, we're at the coffee place now, having a look. Yeah, this is how the, the coffee trees grow, Mr. Miss. Oh, cool. So, um, before the bean comes out, first they will have like little flower press. This is still young. Oh, really? They, they get even bigger? bigger that one there, oh, that we can wow. see like, It's even bigger. How old are these ones? I think it's more than seven years. Yeah. Um, this animal here, they are still relative to the possum or raccoon yeah. in between oh, of them. Oh, yeah. And they're only native to this island just in Bali. Collect all the food. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a bit of a shit job, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's my morning job. Yeah. I hunt the food. They put the bin out here. That's why you see very clean. Yes, yeah. they poo out there. Yeah. They give me another job in yeah. the morning. Let oh. me show you how it look like. Yeah. Wow. See, and doesn't get smell anything. Even the fresh one that I found in the morning doesn't get smell. So the animal you would have just seen in the cages, um, they do let them out every night to eat the coffee beans and then they collect their poo and use the poo to make coffee. Yeah, so I get the poo and then they clean it and then they skin the seed again, the coconut, not coconut, coffee seed. <laughs> Coconut. Uh, they skin the coffee seed and then they roast that so none of the actual coffee seed that you eat touches the inside of the ass. So I don't know who the person that first started this was that thought, oh, there's some poo here. Well, let's that roast this good. up and see what it tastes like. But obviously it's worked out pretty well for them. We've been to coffee plantations before in Bali, but we've never tried the Luwak coffee. So this time we're actually gonna get one to share and give it a go. Without um, sugar. Yeah, so this is the Luwak coffee. Yeah. This is the poo coffee. coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good? Yeah. Still better than the coffee breath makes me. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> That's Actually, black coffee is not bitter for black no, coffee. No, it's not. It's Just nice. normally when we have black mm. coffee, the taste bitter and, and even strong too. Yeah. But it's not even bitter for black coffee, I mean. Yeah. It's actually quite good, eh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We are now at a waterfall. It's super busy here with tourists. And I think it's called... Te Teganungan? Yeah, I, I probably don't know. got that wrong.
It is actually so busy here. We were not expecting to come across so many people. And hopefully you can actually hear me because it is very loud too. So we just nearly died walking up from the waterfall. There was so many steps and they're all massive. So each step was like a big lunge. But now we're just sitting at a little restaurant and the lady said that there were seats upstairs. And look at our view. Very nice view up here. This is really good. And there's no one else around either. I don't know why nobody else is sitting up here. They're all crammed in downstairs. Looking good. We're ready to go into the temple. Wow, look how big them fish are. They are huge. We have come out to a holy water temple now. So we will actually hop into the water soon and do like a cleanse. It's actually pretty cool here. It's not super popular with tourists. It is more of like the Balinese spot that they come to. So we've come out to the markets here and it's actually really cool like this is where they come out and it's a big celebration at the moment so it's just really interesting to see uh, i'm right at the moment do you want anything what's that one potato yes the same uh there are vegetables inside like uh, your children on this ride. <laughs> Good morning. I thought we'd splash out for breakfast. Get it? Splash out. <laughs> <laughs> We've been a little bit busy and we didn't really want to go out for breakfast today. So check this out Floating breakfast in the villa. How good does that look? A couple breakfast burritos some fruit some pineapple juice looks really good We did have a few cocktails last night and are feeling a little bit seedy today I think from all the sugar and stuff in them. So I don't think we'll be doing heaps today Just chilling around the villa might head into a board and go out for lunch and stuff. these fellas. Hey guys. I've come out to the monkey forest today and I've left Chelsea in a bush. She's getting a massage. She wasn't too keen on coming out to see some monkeys but I was pretty keen too so left her behind and now I'm gonna go have a look around the monkey forest. Hello. Thank you. No. <laughs> so I did have one just jump on my back. Um, I'll try and chuck some photos up here so you can see. But yeah, very cheeky thing. He then jumped onto another bloke and tried opening his bag. So yeah, good thing Chelsea's not here or she would be freaking it. <laughs> yeah, I could have brought Chelsea here. She could have got a monkey massage. That would have gone down a treat. I finished up with the monkeys. I'll chuck some photos up here. They're actually surprisingly gentle. 
like their soft hands and yeah so one was a planned photo and the other one was actually just an attack he was uh, attacking a lady's bag so i said hey no don't do that and then what did he do he come jump straight on my back so maybe he was trying to show his dominance or i don't know but i got him off passed him off to another bloke and it was all good We've been caught out in a little bit of a rainstorm now, so we're just uh, cruising along and running to cover. This is uh, something a little bit different anyway. It's actually quite cool. It's very heavy tropical rain. Yeah, not too sure. Seemed like a lot more restaurants up here earlier. Yeah, so we're just trying to find like a bit of a bar to go and have a drink and we can't find any now. So I don't think we might be a little bit lost. Bit of a drowned rat. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure how good the audio is going to be, whether it's wet. Oh no, look at them. Oh no, unlucky. Thanks for watching another video. If you're liking these ones, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you've got any questions or comments at all, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.